everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, and uh, I have actually filmed this video on the 4th of April, on the morning of the 4th of April. Um, now, we had our first frost last night in April, but I'm pleased to say it was only a light frost. I think the temperature only got down to about 0 or 1 degree, so it was a light frost. And as you can see, light frosts have no effect on the new growth on my kiwi berries it's when it gets down to about minus two that the growth all gets blackened so even on the top shoots up there there's no signs of any damage now if this is all that happened in april and we only got temperatures down to about zero i'd be perfectly happy because i think these plants would all be okay and if i have a look over here just an update on some of the others my <coughs> pakistan mulberry is also budding out so again, I don't want to be seeing frost temperatures down below freezing in April. I may cover this, I didn't cover it last year and I lost all the new growth on it. But if we get signs of a colder frost, I might throw a frost fleece over it. And I'll also have a look at two others that get affected in particular by frosts to see how they're looking. <coughs> Got my Japanese raisin tree which is budding out, was started budding out at the end of February. This all got killed back by the frosts last year. Uh, at the moment, that light frost we had last night was not a problem. Now, interestingly, the persimmons seem to be late leafing out this year, because last year they were leafing out at the end of March, beginning of, there's my persimmons there, they were leafing out at the end of March, beginning of uh, April and we had a heavy frost in the second week of April and it wrecked all of them but they seem to have budded out much later this year perhaps because of our different um, the different weather conditions we've had in February and March I'm hoping that they will avoid damage this year these buds aren't at the point yet where they're going to be a problem so my Japanese raisin tree was looking okay after the frost last night also budding out is my Szechuan pepper tree and that's budding out various places so um, I've cut the top off to try and encourage it to branch out and that looks like that might be successful because there's lots of side shoots here but again that got frosted last year and at the moment touch wood of course there's no signs of any damage on these new growths so um, I'm quite pleased that that frost, I thought I'd do an update because we had a frost last night, but I said it was only a light ground frost and that's not enough to cause problems to my kiwi berry so far. So I'm just fingers crossed that we're going to get more uh, mild weather this, uh, this spring than we did last year because it ruined the plant last year. Yeah. Uh, there won't be any signs of any flower buds yet, but it's normally these first shoots that carry the flower buds on them. And of course, uh, that's what ruined the flower on it last year. But then again, I haven't got any male flower ones to cross pollinate it, so it doesn't really matter apart from it's a great shame to see the frost damage these get. So fingers crossed, oops, fingers crossed for a mild April so that the stuff that comes out too early doesn't get damaged. My um, Crimson Bonfire Peach has all but finished flowering now. There's just a few flowers left on it. And in fact, the uh, the new purple growth is, uh, or burgundy growth is starting to come out at the ends of the shoots now. So that's heading into uh, its next growth cycle. Um, the flowers have missed any frosts. Um, whether or not any fruits set this year remains to be seen. I haven't seen many insects around, so that's quite possible these won't get pollinated. Anyway, that was just a weather, a quick weather update and the effects of the light frost last night, which frankly is, um, so far is nothing. And uh, just keeping our fingers crossed that we get a milder April than we did last year. Thanks for watching the video, I much appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up. Obviously you can share the video, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell if you'd like to know when new videos come out. Catch up with you all in the next video. Brett out for now.